Hello again. I'm Major General Retired Deborah Ashenhurst, Director of the Ohio Department of Veterans Services. While coronavirus has been confirmed in Ohio, the risk to the general public still remains low, and we must do our part to prevent the spread of this and other infectious diseases here in Ohio. Governor Mike DeWine, along with the Department of Health, ask all Ohioans, especially first responders, healthcare providers, long-term care providers, child care facilities, schools, colleges and universities, businesses, faith-based groups, and many others, including veterans, to help prevent the potential spread of the disease. The state has set up a coronavirus website full of up-to-date Ohio information and resources at coronavirus.ohio.gov. There, you will find links and information on how to take action and prepare for COVID-19. There are instructions on how to protect yourself from infectious diseases, including tips on how to wash your hands, cover your mouth when sneezing or coughing, and avoid touching your eyes, nose, and mouth with unwashed hands. There's a household checklist to prepare your home and workplace for an outbreak of infectious disease, including cleaning and sanitizing supplies, such as hand sanitizer, cleaning sprays, and wipes. Make sure you have a two-week supply of water and food in your home. Contact your health care provider to fill any prescription drugs you take. Talk to caregivers about backup plans in the event that a primary caregiver becomes ill. Businesses or schools close. We are doing everything we can at the Ohio Department of Veterans Services to follow the state and CDC guidelines and prepare for any potential outbreaks. At ODVS, we are limiting access points getting into our facilities. We are cleaning high-touch surfaces such as counters, tables, doorknobs, and handrails. The state is asking employees to stay home when they're sick and avoid contact with people who are sick. Make sure you get adequate sleep and eat well-balanced meals. Wash your hands often with water and soap at least for 20 seconds before drying them with a clean towel or let them air dry. Wet hands can further the spread of any infectious disease. Please cover your mouth with a tissue or a sleeve when sneezing or coughing. Hopefully you've been practicing good hygiene habits already, but if you do feel sick, call before visiting your doctor. Keep calm, wash your hands, and stay up to date at coronavirus.ohio.gov. Thank you.